Starting route to 2 Galleria Parkway Southeast. All right, just got here to Atlanta. Culture collision. We are the hobby. And Big Ken got us a hotel room right next to the hobby. Just about to walk in here to Culture Collision and I got some breaking news in my earpiece that the Eagle has landed. Craig is at the airport despite some adversity. He had the D-plane, then replane, but now he's on track to be here in just a few minutes. So let's see what the show's looking like and then we'll meet up with him. The youth at the sports card show. Looks like Mama Breaks filming some content. Here is the setup. Gerald, Windy City Sports Cards, the legend right there, set up at the front, Primo Real Estate. But look at that big space, big room, kind of similar to what Burbank was like when I went there in February in one of the previous vlogs. Seats, baby. You know, it's not only about the sports cards at Culture Collision, it's also the culture piece. You got the Jordans, the fours, we got some 12s, we got a one there, we got some 11s. Big Ken. <laughs> Look at that. Kobe, one of one, on card, in flight. Here's the setup brought to you by Big Ken at Sports Card Lessons featuring at Carmine's cards myself and this is what I got in the showcase here you see the legends bird and magic front and center the flawless one of one one of one we got Bo Jackson one of one Gronk white box one of one see what we can do with some of these nickname cards big poppy we got the big KD Muhammad Ali pop one Jerry Rice a little Atlanta Hawks flavor, Dominique, and Atlanta Falcons, Mike Vick. No shortage of variety in the showcase. Craig is about 10 minutes away. As you can see, the fanny pack is in full effect. Every time I set up at a show, I get a little bit nervous. It's kind of a different situation to be in, but I just got the first deal of the weekend, and it was the ultimate force, and I'll pull it up right here, the Roethlisberger, Manning, Romo, Brady, game-used jerseys. Made a little money on it, felt good to break that ice, get the first deal going. But the other half of Crosstown Cardboard is here. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him with Big Ken. Oh my God. Was it the Lakers shirt? Good, good to see you. Magic. That's good. Look How at the you? Knicks. Of course, bro, I saw so much Knicks gear in the airport. All right, bro, you just got here. We have a little bit of time before the Mavs and Hawks game. Instant reaction to the room. I honestly have not looked around yet at all. Okay. Biggest show I've been to, definitely, aside from National, I gotta like collect myself. I'm just in underneath this right now. I'm just it's head to toe. Why? Why? What's causing you? Just a lot of travel. I'm not gonna complain about travel delays. I'm not gonna be that guy, but there are some travel delays, alright? But we're here now. We got the Bird Flawless Dual Patch Auto in a BGS 9.5, and my guy here just brought up a Kobe, same exact year, same card. Very cool. Messiah, I think this is slightly more valuable than the Larry Bird, but what do you think this is worth here? Uh, probably like around 20, 22,000. I picked it up like two, three months ago for that, so it's probably worth around that, but I wouldn't sell it anywhere near that. Okay. Probably need like closer to like 25, but I mean, it's just a cool car. You just can't find it. And what's your attachment to Kobe? Uh, I mean, I'm from LA, so whenever I moved to LA, he just, it was just Kobe from 2008. And then unfortunately when he uh, retired and then passed away, it was just like, you can't go wrong with buying Kobe cards. Like I just always look for Kobe cards and like, this is one of the better ones. So couldn't pass up on it. I'm also another uh, big Tatum guy, so I have this. Oh, okay. Lakers and Celtics, Bird and Magic. I have a uh, Kobe wow. Duel. What do you got on that? It's like around 24, 25,000. 
That's beautiful, bro. Thank you for sharing. Yes, sir. Just hanging out with my buddy John, who is at Pretty Cool Cards, based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Great guy in the hobby. And one of his buddies had a very unique custom card here. Will Chamberlain autographed, says best wishes. He has the JSA certification saying that the material on here is a towel that was in the championship winning locker room of Wilt's team when the Philadelphia Warriors at the time, signed by all the guys, he cut out the Wilt portion along with each individual player, got it certified, and that is a unique one. He's asking 3K on it. Very, very cool. There's good energy in the room, but as far as actually we'll walking Wiz, around. Look we'll at Wiz, look we'll at Wiz, what's up, bro? Wiz, in the cup! This is our game right here, but we're gonna go watch a game. I legitimately don't have an impression yet because I haven't had a chance to walk around and shop at all, but made a couple sales in an hour. I don't know, I feel like tomorrow's gonna be a great day. It's yeah. a really good day. Look Me at the too. room. Me too. The room's, room. the room's actually nicely organized. You can see where the aisles are. Yep. And it's not overwhelming. Like the national was overwhelming, but this one's I think like tomorrow. Beautiful. I think tomorrow we might get a little bit, but being behind the table is obviously a huge help. All right, off to the game. All right. All right, bro. We just walked into the Hawks game. Luca's cooking already. Still in the first quarter. Luca has 18 points. Craig, what about the environment here, like the atmosphere? <laughs> I, I, I love think? when you go into sports as, as your job, <laughs> sports reporter mode. <laughs> That's right. People are excited to be here. People around us love Luca. The ball. And the fact that he can really ball. You see that, that move that he put on, that was so slow. Yeah, Super so slow. Control, just like gets yeah. it done. Chick fil A is dropping from the sky. Get it to the people in the cheap seats. Why are they giving it to the freaking people who already can afford it? Drop it to us. More is coming, more. People might get in fights over this chick fil -A. Look at these people risking it all. I would too. They dropped it to the cheap seat. Luca with 69 with three minutes left. Here's the shot for 70. 70 points on 75% shooting. They got to start selling Luca jerseys in here. Luca with 73 tonight. Boy, they got some fly. I'll tell you what, ATL's fly. I think it was a good decision to work this into the card show trip. little after 11.30, and look at the scene here at the hotel connected to Culture Collision. We gotta see what's going on. The trade night is up next. <music> 2.38am here at the trade night on Friday, Atlanta, Culture Collision. And it was definitely worth the time, but I'm too tired to go through some of these pickups. So, see you bright and early in the morning. Got about four hours of sleep. People are just about to come in. It's hitting 10 o'clock, start of the show time. So before that, before it hopefully starts getting crazy, let's take a look at those trade night pickups from last night. I've been following Big Ken's advice, so I'm trying to pick up some raw rookie football quarterbacks. Here's a Trevor Lawrence Prism Silver variation. So that might be a gradable option. Alperin Shangoon having a great season for the Rockets. They call him Baby Jokic. So we'll see, just listen to a podcast with him on Old Man in the Three with J.J. Redick. I got two game-used quarterback jerseys from this father-son, and the 17-year-old son was telling me how much more socially developed he is with his communication than his friends at 17. I said that's a great side benefit of getting involved in this hobby and spending time with his dad. Another father-son, I got this one-of-one one Dr. J Leaf Auto, but if you look close, I'll zoom in, 
It says, Dr. J, January 27th, 1976, source from the free throw line to secure a slam dunk title. And I've uh, read up on how... Did you get something? <laughs> I'm showing off my pickups from last night, the trade night. Yo, got some uh, pickups while Craig and Ken were manning the table, so I have to show those off. Pretty excited, even though nothing crazy, but pretty cool for the dollar amount. Charlie Sheen, Tiger's Blood, Billy Crystal, Meg Ryan, great actor, obviously, Knicks fan, Joe Montana, four-time Super Bowl champ, can't beat that for $40. Bobby Portis, don't forget, SEC Player of the Year, and a key component to the Milwaukee Bucks championship run with the crazy eyes. And uh, former Nick player too. Former Nick Bobby Portis as well, numbered out of 25, RPA, National Treasures. And this is my favorite one, one of one Caddyshack. Chevy Chase and Michael O'Keefe, who was the main character. One of one, that's pretty cool. Craig and Carmine crossed out cardboard comment on cards. Consistency. Candidly. Oh shoot. Okay, so you have some pickups. I do, uh, first one I got today, Obvious one for me, Wolf Rage to Willis Reed. What's cool is probably my favorite pickup of the whole show is going to be this $20 card right here. Goes right with the collection. The 70s duo, two-time champ. Long champs. time left, though. Long time left. See yeah. what you get. True. Hun Ming San, Mosaic True Goals, one of the best players in the world, and he's from South Korea. So the South Korea market loves him as a player. Got this, uh, paid $320 for it. It's something I feel like I could at least use in a trade, if not maybe sell it. Numbered out of 10, right? Numbered out of 10. Woo. True gold mosaic out of 10. That's nice. And this one on middleman for Mandel Bump cards on Instagram. Uh, our guy. So I saw this card and something stuck with me that I know he was looking for this set in particular. Snapped him a picture. He wanted it. I negotiated the price and I'm just going to send him the card. That's good hobby so juju. happy to work a deal for someone. Numbered out of 10 also? Uh, eight out of eight. Eight out of eight. Okay. And this is the snakeskin set, and I think it has something to do with Kobe, so the 8 out of 8 is super cool with it. Very cool. So that's it for the pickup so far. The tricky thing was being at a big show like this, you want to walk around and see everything, but it's such, you know, an advantage being behind the table, so you don't want to miss that either. I'll start walking, and I'll be like, I got to get back. Then I'll get bored, I got to walk again, I got to get back. Right now, we're settled at the table. We're going to hold it down for a little bit. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Isn't it crazy how fast your brain just works, right? One second you look at a card and you're just processing what you're seeing. And you immediately know, yes, I'm interested, or no, I'm not interested in, in half a second, like you said. It is it is a little scary. Okay, this player is a four-time NBA All-Star. Okay. He's ranked seventh on the active points per game list. And the night he was drafted, he was also traded. Four-time NBA All-Star, seventh in scoring right now. Trey Young? Incorrect. The correct answer is Donovan Mitchell. Oh. He was drafted by the Nuggets and I traded to the Utah Jazz. Okay, fair great, question. Great, great, great guess. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Damn it. We don't know sports. We could have had a Mookie <laughs> Betts signed jersey and we could have had a freaking Donovan Mitchell signed jersey. Just will have to make it up with some deals. We've done our first deal since the first deal, two yes, years ago before yes, we met. Yes. We made that trade on Facebook a couple years ago before we even knew each other. Yep. We've been in touch, have a podcast, and we haven't closed a deal since. <laughs> We've been in touch, have a podcast. <laughs> Until right now. So we finally closed it. You owed me a little bit of money for the table fee and for the game last night tickets. Worth it. Worth it. We got to see Lucas score 73 live. I threw a little bit of cash on top along with Joe Namath, Auto. 2001 Joe Namath Auto, super cool. Marshawn Lynch, game used three color patch, and the Derek like Jeter that, that I was trying to get. I mentioned this on the last podcast. Yeah. Three color patch, piece chunky. Of the letter, chunky. So those are the three cards I got. What did you get? I got 
a Bernard King, a Knicks patch, but in the Bulls uniform from Ultimate out of 20. Bernie Williams, National Treasures game worn jersey. I like this one because Bernie Williams shares a birthday with me. But the centerpiece of the trade, 1999, 2000, Upper Deck NBA Legends, Michael Jordan, gamer. It's a good deal. It's a great deal. Everyone wins. This was a fun pickup from a table. The guys were from Tennessee. Interesting thing about soccer is when you find a table that doesn't really do soccer, you could usually find some good deals. Prison Black, 101, field level. I'm going to be honest, I'm not too familiar with the player. However, the true blacks always move well. Hey, 40 bucks for this. Easy. And that girl right there and her father, she's a, she's a soccer player. She's a big fan of Rose Lavelle. I had a Rose Lavelle autograph. Traded that straight up for some wax. So we're going to rip a little. Went out of card show, right? Ken's going to help me open this. Ain't no stopping us now.